Hey guys, Gamer YouTube here, and today I'm on a little of a rush schedule because I'm doing two videos today, one with a friend, and here it is. I've got two Star Wars action figures that I bought on Amazon for around $7, and I think I got a pretty good deal. They're about each the same height, about 4 inches, or 3.75 or whatever they have it. And really, it's not half bad for what you paid for. I know the packaging's a little rich. Also, on this one, I got a little rubber band holding it together. That one, I just glued it together. Uh, but, I have two reviews for you guys, and let's get started. Go through this fast. We have got um, the Jordan Cut to go first. <coughs> and so, here it is. Let's put it right next to its packaging. It comes with something else, but I'll explain that later. Um, so, here's the packaging. It's a little floppy. It's just glued on. But, moving the Droidica out of the way, put you over there. As you see on the packaging, it's got a good display where the Droidica would be sitting in the packaging. Uh, it's also got another display of this right next to it. Uh, it's a very big, wide packaging. <coughs> and you just got to open it, just go right here with a knife and just open it from there. Um, then it's got the... Uh, Darth Maul, right there. Packaging's so big, it doesn't even fit in my camera. Uh, range. There's a picture of the Droidica, now, figure, tall, uh, try a special reader, whatever. Uh, ages four and up, and episode, like the first episode of the prequel, or the pre-sequel. Uh, and on the back, it shows you can get, like, extra little figures. Um, you can get a droid. Yes, yeah, a camo droid. Uh, a couple other characters, like Darth Maul and Gungan Warriors. Plus, it says some text and action figures will never be the same. Because now, you will be a Jedi promise. Or, I promise. Um... The Force is with you in all Star Wars figures, and a bunch of other stuff. Battle damaged feature, and that's pretty much it. And it says, 10 Jedi Master Points. Proof of purchase, so, I guess if I get enough proof of purchases, I could buy something else. I don't think they do that anymore. I remember when they first came out with Star Wars action figures. I wasn't born at the time, of course, but... Uh, they were doing, like, the early, bo uh, early bird special kind of set, and you would, if you had five uh, proofs of perfect, or purchase, you would buy, like, a special action figure that's not available in sharp shop markets or whatever. But, yeah, get into the character. Let's actually look at its accessory first. It's a little stand that doesn't work for the Jordan Cup because unless you put in a little hole right here, I guess it's meant for that, that little hole. Uh, you put his little toe in it, and he doesn't really stand very well. But it's a sound chip, that little green mother, well, not motherboard, of course, but sound chip right there. A little picture of the Joydica. Not very much to it. Um, it's clear, though. It looks nice. You could put your Stormtrooper, or Clone Trooper, Phase 2 Clone Trooper, on it, and it fits pretty well. It just doesn't hold on very well. It doesn't fit quite right. Um, it, you would put it in, like, this box that no longer exists because it failed miserably. Uh, you would put it in and make a sound of the Georgia, which, that obviously failed, but they still had the little stands. I don't know why. Well, at least it gives you a free stand that doesn't make sound anymore because the box no longer available. The little sound box or whatever, special reader. But, here's the Georgia. Um, it's a battle damage one, and it's from the first episode, so it looks very old-looking. Uh, but for the uh, feature that it said it had, if you just, like... It'll come in the packaging two pieces, but I'll show you how to put it together. You just literally press one of the legs down, and it will pop out. So it'll come in the packaging like this, with the... Well, sometimes it'll come together, but mine came in the packaging like this. You just gotta look for that little hole right there, and you just gotta put it in. And then it fits right in, you can press it again, and it pops out. Uh, articulation is you got the pretty much uh, droidica, uh, 
um, can move its guns and why does it keep on popping out? It's very sensitive, but it can move its guns a lot pretty easily. And it doesn't have any more articulation besides the head, which can move barely any bit, and it can move its arms like that for each side of the character. That's all their uh, articulation. It has no toe or anything like that. <coughs> it's kind of disappointing of their articulation, <coughs> but it's pretty good for what it is. Um, the detail is pretty good. You got little battle damage spots. Um, they got the little shield protectors. Doesn't come with a little shield, but when they attempted to do like the shield thing, they just put one side of the shield, and you'd have to buy another one, and you could have you'd have to put it together, and it wouldn't even fit the Adjordica in the right way. It would just not fit right, and it would just be like in front of it or whatever, and it sucked. the The Adjordica is nice, just the um shield was terrible. Um. So yeah, the head can move. It also can pop off, uh, pop off. It's only clipped on. You might be able to see it. It's just clipped on. Um, pretty much, that's all it is. This cat's going crazy. Um, it's just nice. This back is very flimsy, though. It's like movable. It's like rubber. Uh, that's pretty much it for the whole figure right there. It's pretty good for displaying. I swear this cat's getting in the shot of the camera. I'll just put that over there. Now it's time to look at the clone trooper. Not very much to look in the packaging, but it's just a clear, super articulated uh, Star Wars Sith Revenge or whatever clone trooper. I could not find the super articulated version of this um, on a review on YouTube, and this cat's going crazy. But here it is, super articulated, and a bunch of other guys you can get with it. Yeah, there's a little website. Not sponsored by Star Wars, Amazon, or anything else, I say, if I haven't already said that. Now you get one Stormtrooper, and this, if you bought the door to come with it, you grab its little stand, and now you have a little stand for it. That has the door to cut picture on it, I guess. And it is four inches tall. Well, if I take off the stand, it's exactly the same height as the door to cut. Maybe a little different, but... They're pretty close to the same height. I recommend buying them at the same or buying them at the same time. But looking at the accessories, it did come with this little book bag that would hook on right there. It sucked. It was a tiny book bag and it, it fell off. It was very of a terrible design of a book bag. But it also comes with this little blaster. If I can get it out of his hand, let me see here. There, there's the blaster. It's just a normal little blaster. Everyone's seen them before. Um, getting that out of his hand. You got one hand that's meant to hold the blaster and one hand that's not. Uh, you've got, um, a Phase 2 Storm Tro or Clone Trooper because it has the three little, like, circles at the bottom. Pretty nice of a helmet. I really like this. Yeah, and it's got 14 positions of articulation from head, waist, not very much in the legs, but there is a little bit. Like, you can move the legs just a little bit. A uh, knee on both sides, and shoe plus, instead of just the shoe. You've also got, on the arms, you can move his arm out. You can also move his little um, elbow, and then his hand. They're all to the sides. <coughs> on his other arm as well. Um... The gun is made out of rubber, if I didn't tell you. Or not, like, rubber, but very, very bad plastic. It's not very... gonna last you very long. Um, it looks very nice. It's just a normal plain stormtrooper, like you would expect. But, do you think the Jordica would win in a battle? I would think so. But it seems like the Jordica doesn't have a shield on. But still, this guy would die pretty easily. I'll, put, I'll show you a little display. Uh, well, I got the display. His hand does not want to hold on to the blaster. It kind of just doesn't. But you can set him up like this. And now you've got a little display of him. And he could fire and he could die. Yeah, the Jordica's dead. Or the Jordica would end up killing him. And he would run away in shame. I, I just wanted this display. I'll show you some of my other guys. I have, so here's some of them, and comparing to my other 
Clone Trooper. I think it's around the height it should be. The Jordica should be a little shorter, I think. This one's about the same height. So, going across other Clone Troopers, does it look good? Next to another one. Yes. They're about the same height, and they look pretty good. Darth Vader. Don't ask why I have a Darth Vader. Everyone's got to have a Darth Vader in the collection. Plus, I've got Boba Fett, the most original version you could buy today. It costs about $50 for this one figure. Looks a lot like the other ones. No, it isn't, because it has a brown arm piece, and it has a gold ending to the dirt. And plus, it has a lot of good detail. Um, giving a review on both of these sets, I think the Jordica is a 9 out of 10. Or, no, an 8 out of 10. It, it looks very kind of weird in some sparts, uh, pot, uh, spots. Um, but the action figure, I like it a lot, and it deserves a 10 out of 10. There is nothing bad I can figure out about this besides the gun not being able to hold in the hand and the backpack. Which, I don't need the backpack. Like, I'm fine without having the backpack. Boba Fett's not fine without his jetpack, though. Yeah, the Jordica should be a little shorter. Just a little. He's as tall as Boba Fett, but this is Gamer YouTube here, and I am signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.